put the gun on my head and asking me, what is the money? What is the money? It's 3.40 in the morning. Through the sliding door, four men bust into the home of Rima Alray, her husband, and their two girls. In one room, they badly beat Rima's husband. He was taken to the hospital. The kids and Rima in another room. Everyone's scared. What did they say to the kids? Don't move. And to her, they said... Don't scream. Where is the money? Don't scream. Stop screaming. And he was yelling and screaming, and he put his, his hand on my face and looked the bruise here all over my face. As that was happening, Rima says she could hear her husband groaning in another room. According to her, he tried to distract the suspects and get them away from his wife and kids. He told the four there was money out on the patio, hoping to attract their dog, Raider. Raider limps from a congenital disorder, but when they opened the door, he had it right for the house. The suspects slammed the screen door before he could get in. Raider's head, though, popped through the mesh. Meanwhile, at one point, the three suspects jumped Rima's husband. He was fighting back and he shot them. He, he got their, their uh, gun and he shot. The bullet went through the wall by the kitchen. When he shot, they get scared. They get scared, they're trying to run away. Before they run away, they come back to me. They put the gun on my head again. And they said, where's the money? Give us the money. So she reached under the mattress and says she gave them $5,000. What happened here, she says, was almost literally a nightmare. Um, thank God it's not worse. Thank God uh, like we're safe. It was, I am blessed, really. I'm really blessed because I, I am safe, because it was really very dangerous. Rima was at the hospital this afternoon with her husband. She says uh, he was really badly beaten. He is recuperating there. The kids are traumatized, but she's trying to keep them distracted by watching cartoons on the TV. Police are trying to figure out who these four suspects are. She says they were hard to identify because they were their faces were covered and they were dressed dark in dark clothing. And uh, if you have any information, the police would, would love a phone call. And the bottom line is for the family that lives in that house over there, it's been a really traumatic day. We're live in North Hills. I'm Hal Eisner, Fox 11 News.